And what are you supposed to do? Go make disciples of all nations. How? You baptize them. What are you supposed to do? Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. I just bring this up. Christianity has become, for some people, an intellectual nod. I believe there was a Jesus. I believe he did some good things. He's a great guy. He's up there with uh, Buddha and Muhammad and some others. Krishna, somebody. No, no. He's not talking about intellectual nod. He's talking about obeying everything I teach. You follow him. You do what he says. This is you understand who Jesus is, and you follow him. You obey what he says. You obey what he has commanded. How do we know that? We can read it. You don't have to take my word for it. You can read it yourself. What did Jesus say? What did he expect from us? But I encourage you, before you stand before God in heaven, that you do your homework. Don't take anyone else's word for it. Read the Bible for yourself. You can even cheat. I'll tell you how. Some Bibles come with, when Jesus speaks, the letters are in red. So for your introductory course, just flip to the Bible and read the red letters. You're just seeing what Jesus said. You know, I'm not saying this is the full course, but you're getting a good feel for what Jesus was about. Make that, don't take anyone else's word for what Jesus said, because I, I said I can go on YouTube right now, and we can find out. We can find out he didn't exist, or he did exist, and the stories were highly exaggerated, or that he was gay, or that he, I mean, they're all out there. They can't all be right. He can't exist and not exist. In fact, if, if you watch some of them, he's gay. If you watch the Da Vinci Code, he was quite the ladies' man. Right? Uh, well, this, this guy's getting, I mean, it's crazy how, how wide and broad these stories go. They can't all be true. So what can you do to know? Read it for yourself.